Hey everybody! So today I am doing a book review on Ellen Dugan's Garden Witchery, Magic from the Ground Up. First of all, I have to say that I bought a used book and I think that there's nothing wrong with buying used. I've seen so many people that actually buy like brand new books and I don't think that's really necessary. So I'm just throwing that disclaimer out there. I think I bought mine on Amazon for like a couple bucks and same book, you know, it might be a little bit older, it might be a little, um, not damaged, but, um, you know, might have some stuff in it, like, let's have, like, this weird stamp in it, whatever. But, you know, it still serves the same purpose, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, just throwing that out there. But anyway, um, so I do want to say that I'm absolutely in love with this book. I am. And she's probably becoming, going to become my second favorite author. I can already feel it. I love her writing style. Um, I thought this, I felt like this book should really be, car, be called Garden Witchery 101 because it had a lot of basic knowledge stuff that I actually really enjoyed. Um, I am not really a gardener. I've always lived in apartments, so I've done a lot of container gardening and I uh, just kind of winged it and some things have worked out well some things have absolutely not at all <laughs> um I do a lot of like research pretty much when it's when I have a plan in my head of something that I'm gonna do um so I really don't have like really good knowledge of gardening and I thought this was great because it had a good balance of actual gardening information and magical stuff to go with it. So I thought it was great that it didn't, didn't just lean on just the magical side or on just the regular gardening side, but it had a good balance of both, really. Um, I did want to tell you that I actually started reading this one first, which is um, Ellen Dugan's Garden Witches Herbal. And God, look at this Look at the cover. It's so beautiful. And I was like drawn to it. I'm like, who give me? Um, but when I started reading it, it um, it talked about how so many people loved her first book that this is pretty much like a sequel. Um, so what, I went ahead and put this one down and bought this one. And I'm so excited that I did because, like I said, I really do adore this book so much. Um... I thought her writing style was great. Um, again, the balance between the gardening and the magic part was great. Um, and just great information. Um, I think the only, like, okay thing that, if I have to say, that's kind of a negative, but really isn't, just kind of for me. Um, it does talk about crafting in here. Um, so some crafting stuff to do with um, herbs and plants and flowers that I thought was also kind of a basic 101 thing that I, of course, already knew. Um, but other than that, uh, I thought it was great and just great information, wonderful stuff. And um, let me just kind of dig right in. Um, so, I think in the beginning she talks about um, some of the history and some of like um, legends and folklore of some uh, gardening and being, you know, a wise woman and things that went along with it that I think a lot of us kind of already know. But again, the basic 101 stuff, which is great, in case for people that don't know, really. Um, <laughs> um... Uh, well, I think it went first into kind of like figuring out what your zone is, which I think that was great. Um, figuring out what kind of plants would go, would work well in your area. One of the things that I also really enjoyed about the book was that it had um, a great balance as well as um, container gardening versus land gardening. Um, I have, again, always lived in an apartment, so I haven't had that space to really be able to grow whatever I want and I kind of hated some books that have talked about oh well, yeah plant this one and it's gonna grow you know four to five feet or whatever and this that and the other and I'm like well I, I, I'm working I work in containers I work in containers I don't know what all that stuff is um so I think she had a great balance which she says okay yeah even though this plant might work in this you know might grow to this to this um you can also use a size pot for it that will be good for it as well. So, a good balance with that too. Um, 
she has a couple different witches dozens which is um fancy term for like 13 if you if you didn't know um about different topics so like full shade or full sun i mean um to the shade to um kind of like uh, the darker plants if that's something that you might be into um so i thought that was great she has um different um she goes into some of the correspondences she has color correspondences she has day and planetary correspondences she has goddess correspondences all types of that stuff um she has um month correspondences and i thought that was kind of fun because um i'm a gemini i was born in june and the correspondences for june was roses and i absolutely adore that because even though roses technically aren't my favorite flower they're not not really. Um, I do have a rose plant <sighs> and moving so often and having going through all the shit that I've been going through it's been really great to have my rose plant. It's the one that I've had so far for the longest which is gonna be two years but just going through all the stuff and I've been able to take it with me and it still blossoms and blooms and it's getting bigger every every season and I just absolutely adore it and that kind of really like touched my heart because I was like oh well June is roses no wonder it's doing so well or whatever but yeah so anyway just thought I'd share that with you whether you're interested in it or not <laughs> sorry um it talks a little bit about the folklore of certain um flowers and herbs and some of the again the correspondences that go with it which I think are great um, Elle talks about some of the flowers, like I feel like I had my phone with me the whole time, so when she talks about certain flowers and I have no idea what it is, I just look it up and I'm like, oh yeah, no, I know that, oh yeah, I've seen that, or, or, or you know, kind of double checking, and like, oh, okay, yeah, that's the right one, that's the right one. So I think if you're like me, that's something handy you should have with you, or your, you know, computer or whatever, you can look something up if you don't understand, um, the words or the the name of the flowers she does have you know the formal name and then the local or I'm trying to think of whatever it's called name common name that's what it, I think it's called um yeah here's another witch's dozen for the shady plant that's cool I don't know if that was able to focus enough or not um she has a lot of different plot ideas, like plans for different, um, I'm trying to think of what it's called specifically. Not different genres, but for different ideas, for different types of gardens you want to have. She kind of puts on different plots and plans in case if you do have the space for it, which would be great. Um, ooh, she does talk about, um, the moon and the seasons and different rituals and correspondences that kind of go with that. Ooh, the cat's moving my box. Stop it. Um, so I thought that was beautiful. This is a pretty picture, huh? Yay. Um, so I like the pictures in books, too. I feel like a kid sometimes. <laughs> ah, all right. Um, yeah, there's some rituals in here. I said that. Oh, of course, the most things, I think, about gardening and flowers and things like that, there's always something about um, the fae folk, you know, the fairies in here. And she does have a, a nice chunk of uh, fairy stuff in here, folklore, uh, magic, um, some spells and um correspondences to go with them as well so i thought that was cool again the craft section was really kind of lacking but again it kind of goes in with the theme of the garden witchery 101 so with that idea it does kind of go hand in hand just for me that part i'm pretty knowledgeable already talks about dream pillows which of course i've done um bath salts which i just did a video on so check that out um, wreaths, which I've done before. What else does she talk about in here? Um, oh, your book of shadows, which is kind of cool. Um, so it does have a couple extra correspondences. Um, ooh, and the part that I really enjoyed was the sabbat area. She talks about the different sabbats and what you can do, you know, again, the basic 101 of the sabbats, in case if that's something that you partake in, um, celebrate and whatever. 
um, of what they are and how you can incorporate, you know, herbs and, and plants and flowers into, um, into your Sabbat rituals and stuff like that. So I thought that was pretty cool. Again, another basic one-on-one -on -one stuff. But, like I said, I think overall, this is... 101 so I definitely highly recommend anybody that wants to get into um, green or kitchen witchery I think this is fantastic for that um, definitely for beginners so any kind of anybody that's interested in that kind of things and wants the 101 experience I highly highly recommend this I mean if you know a lot of gardening and herbal stuff um, this would be a great refresher or just extra knowledge you know she's a great writer and I thought it was a very easy read and I really did enjoy it so much so I am gonna read the next one and I will do another um, review for that when I get done this one does seem a little thicker though um, so that one might take me a little longer I don't know but <laughs> anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will talk to you later